hello everyone welcome to yet another tutorial on Vue.js so you can refer to this github repository that says github.com slash pro software development learn view you will get all the links and the stuff and code related to this video series in this repository so the title is working with the form binding in view so description says we will learn how to bind a form component using a view so let's get started with today's tutorial so you can move to your VS code and like in the previous two tutorials we created this uh, like index1.html and index2.html what you can do you can copy this content and paste it here and what we will do we would change this to learn view 3 and we will remove this body tag okay what I'll do I'll click on view appearance and reset zoom so this would reset my zoom and before so that i can show you what's the best uh, possible view uh, so we have a, a template index 3 index 3 dot html so we will continue with the third tutorial today so that is why index 3 dot html and learn view 3 like this is the tutorial number three so you can refer to your browser and refresh the page and you will get the page as desired result and you can right click here inspect element and you will see the development version of the uh, Vue.js uh, is running in the console so let's get started with this so what you can do you can create a div with an id div id okay i'll zoom this yes div id is equal to uh, you can define a div with an id such as my app 3 and you can now close the div and now you can create a view component referring to this id so constant view component so what i'll give a short notation vc3 so this is view component 3 is equal to new view okay you can give this on any name so i'll give a decent name view component okay so this is view component so yeah perfectly fine now i'll i have three things element which refers to hash my app 3 then i have a data refers to uh, you can have a data plus the methods plus the methods okay so let's uh, uh we keep keep a simple data that is we should keep a simple data that is uh text is equal to hello world hello and we will render this data inside this day so when we refresh this page we would see the data here that is hello perfectly fine now what we are going to do what we are going to do we are learning the form binding so what we can insist on that uh, we can create a form element the most simple being is uh, input type is equal to text so let's do thing this this we will create an input input type is equal to text okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this for the confusion to avoid any confusion and let this placeholder says uh like placeholders is enter enter something this 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 and i can close this input perfectly fine okay when i refresh this page i'll see i have a input which says enter something and i have my console running at the right hand side now what you can do you can create something a variable known as message 
ओके और माय मैसेज व्हिच इज एम्प्टी ओके एंड यू कैन वी मॉडल दिस मैसेज वी मॉडल इज इक्वल टू माय मैसेज सो व्हेन यू वी मॉडल दिस माय मैसेज सो it now binds this data to this input type is equal to text so what you can do uh what you can do you can do one thing uh, you can move to the next line and what you can say yeah and what you can do you can click on my message so i hope what you i'm getting my point that uh in this input type is equal to text we i have binded this data to v model is equal to my message now i'm usually performing that my message is equal to this okay so what you can do also just for the sake i'll comment this out first i'll comment this out so that i give you a better idea of this okay now i'll change this my message to hello hello view js mm. hello view js and it says yeah okay i am having some issue on this let me yes yeah now it's perfect comment yeah so now it was hello view js perfectly fine but what if i want to keep this dynamic how do i keep this dynamic let this be an empty string okay just to just i'll ch change this to hello js so this would refresh to hello js perfectly fine now i'll keep this as dynamic i'll come uncomment out this and this also now i'll put this under the heading tag to give a good view h1 now as soon as that tends uh, and also i'll do one thing as soon as i type something you will see this in the heading hello world Le looks pretty good on the uh, typing now i'll do type some text here java js programming and javascript programming and yeah here you can see that as soon as i type something and as soon as i type backspace you will remove something so this is one thing now another you can do is for checkbox so what you need to do you need to define input type is equal to checkbox place holder doesn't exist in checkbox and in this now the data types becomes a boolean value so you type my flag is equal to false and you will we model this with my flag and i'll say the value of my flag this is by default false now becomes true false true false true false true so this is how you can uh, check box uh, you can be model with the check box so this is like basic for the uh, uh, this is like the basic part of the binding so we will carry on with some more binding in the next tutorial so thank you everyone for watching this tutorial you can try this out on one as well that is text area so i'll quickly show you text area so for that you can do v model is equal to text area message so text area message needs to be defined here inside the heading plus i need to define this here also yeah so here you can see 
hello java programming so when i move to new line hello world so it gives a space so you can uh, configure these things in depth also with it working with the text area so this is how it works so this is like uh, what you can do so this is like pretty good for for us like you can define all so hello world js programming so you can edit this thing plus you can increase the size of the text box like this so this is for us so thank you guys thank you for watching this tutorial uh, uh, catch you in the next tutorial thank you